imagine genuinely and unironically saying, click the link in the comment to give your life to Jesus. <sighs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and for today I have a little bit different of a video for you. Um, we're going to be reacting to Christians talking shit about witchcraft. I'm thinking of making this a series. It just depends if you like it or not. So um, <laughs> I thought, you know, for change, something fun, something different. Uh, and why not do this? I came across one video in particular that came, you know, across my TikTok. And I thought, boy, that would be a video. So here we are. Um, this is all in good fun and I don't mean to personally attack any one of these people. Uh, it's just, it's just for fun. It's just for fun. So let's get like right into it. I will be showing the videos here on the left, right side, wherever is more space. Uh, and let's just go right into it. Which one are we going to start with? So I want to start with the one that I saw that prompted this video idea. Um, here we go. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to like put different music over this or something because I'm pretty sure this is copyrighted. But this, <laughs> ugh, okay. I'm just gonna continue and then. Right. Um, okay. Straight off the bat, yoga is demonic apparently. Fun fact. Uh, zodiac signs and astrology are demonic, apparently. Cool, 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 good to know. I'm pretty sure that this one is interesting to me because I feel like so many of the things that people call demonic, that these very extreme Christians call demonic, are like, they are in your Bible or they're very much being practiced by renowned Christians, you know, it's really like just ironic a lot of times, um, especially considering how astrological some of the holidays are. Like Easter is, what was it? It's the first Sunday after the full moon, after the spring equinox or something like that. Like even that, if, if that's not astrology, I don't know. But okay, moving on. Burning sage and incense. First of all, you misspelled incense. Second of all, <laughs> Again, like, what's wrong with... These are cultural practices of certain regions. It just, it smells like something, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, you burn incense in church. Like, you burn... And not only do you just... It's not that you burn incense for shits and giggles. Like, you burn incense in church to purify and remove negative energy. Like, this is just... Okay. Crystals. This is an interesting one because I, I understand that their point is you shouldn't be worshipping crystals or, you know, thinking that the healing comes from the crystals. Which, fair enough, you know, that's your belief. But what I always do find really intriguing is that the Book of Enoch, for example, is filled to the brim with crystal lore. And, you know, you know. Um, and then we have the magic of manifesting. So the law of attraction and manifesting is apparently demonic. Now, you know, regardless of what we think of the new age, what is praying? Like, tell me your definition of prayer. Are you not wanting to manifest something? Aren't you asking for something? Not all the time, obviously, but you're trying to bring something into your life most of the time, right? Or you're manifesting a change, right? It's this kind of semantics at this point. Angel numbers. 
I don't know enough about angel numbers. Um, seems a little weird though, because again, I'm pretty sure that a lot of, I'm pretty sure that a lot of numbers are mentioned in, again, the Book of Enoch, but I don't want to like say anything because I'm not well-versed enough in this, but angel numbers, come on, they're like wholesome. <laughs> tarot cards, palm readings, and fortune telling. I'm gonna put on the screen right now because I'm pretty sure they are very prominent figures of oracles and diviners in the Bible. Uh, fortune telling isn't the entire like Noah's Ark about fortune telling where isn't isn't the story that he goes onto the mountain he gets a message from God that's like hey just FYI in the future there's going to be this massive flood you might want to collect all these animals um, because I'm pretty sure that would count as fortune telling I mean maybe I'm wrong but like that sounds a little pretty fortune telling to me I get you know tarot cards and palm reading that some Christians are going to be very strict about that. Fair enough, you do you. But to condemn it all together when you have examples of similar things in your own book, I don't know, seems a little, seems a little weird. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at the second one. I'm going to be picking this one. X which turned to Jesus. Fair enough. We've got, wait, 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 wait. Let me pause that and let me have a look at it closer. So we have, okay, the first one is a book. Fair enough, that one can go in the trash. <laughs> uh, then we have some jars, not the jars, alcohol, you know. <gasps> not the Scott Cunningham. Not the Scott Cunningham. Not the Scott Cunningham. What do we have? Books, no, donate them. Daggers. Do you know how expensive these daggers can be? Some figurine. Sage. Incense bundles, again, like especially throwing these things out. Like these are a lot of times sacred items to cultural groups of people. That is just disrespectful. Okay, so she's just throwing out everything in that little bucket. And then she's stomping it? Wait, I didn't even see that part. When I like downloaded this video, when I was like, oh, this is good. All I saw was like the Scott Cunningham book. And I was like, oh my God, yes, this one. She's taking a hammer and stomping it so that no one can even fish it out of the bin for example that's just disgusting and that's just like just because you don't like it you know imagine if you did that to the bible like imagine if someone was like ex-christian turned witchcraft you know and then they took all of the christian things and the saint figurines and the book and everything and like the rosaries and put it in the bin which already is disrespectful enough in itself but then you took a hammer to it and you stomped it that's just vile and she's like stomping it too Okay, so she just talks about something. And then we've got like a little text here. Witchcraft is from the devil and anyone who practices will not enter into heaven. You know what? I don't want to go to heaven anyway. It is an abomination to God. When you start dabbling in witchcraft, you open yourself up to demonic and demonic influences, demons and demonic influences, which will indeed harm you. Satan is very crafty and we must never let him take control of our lives. You know, this pisses me off because things like this are ignorant. They're just disgustingly ignorant of people and cultural practices that have existed before Christianity. Um, and to throw them all a bin. And, you know, if you want to leave any of those paths, that's up to you. You can pick whatever religion you feel suited and, you know, good in. But to then condemn that other path that you were part of and that you actually were benefiting off for part of your life, right? And then to disrespect that in that way is, in my opinion, incredibly ignorant. Especially because, as I just said, like, a lot of these practices predate Christianity. Like, for example, we had, you know, she showed some sage here. Um, these are practices that were part of, like, indigenous cultures in different parts of the world, but this one specific, obviously, to America uh, or North America. And it's just like, they predate Christianity. What are you on about? No. No, no, no. Instead, repent and turn to Jesus. He's waiting for you. He's really not. 
But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. This rubs me really the wrong way whenever I see something like this. And again, just donate it. Like, just, just donate it. Let me quickly check the camera because I heard a sound. Okay, we're fine. Let me just actually check again. We're okie dokie. Yeah, that pissed me off. That one made me angry. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. I have two more videos. Interesting. So the devil looks scary, but he's not. Okay. If you click this like button here, you are going to go to heaven. Oh my god, imagine actually saying that. Imagine not just coming like unapologetically out of your mouth. Imagine genuinely and unironically saying, click the link in the comment to give your life to Jesus. Click, click this link in the button. <sighs> also, this is interesting because I feel like this is a very fascinating way of thinking for me because I've had this conversation with a couple of people. My best, my two best friends are Christian, right? And, and I love them, obviously. And it's just really, really fascinating because I see a lot of these fanatical, crazy Christians, as I like to call them. Um, they kind of have this way of thinking that there is like a genuine body person devil figure just i don't know roaming around and then there's this actual flesh type of like god and flesh type of like jesus and they're just like in a boxing match or something like that and it's like they're metaphors what happened to the idea that they're metaphors like the devil is on all of us you know like it's just supposed to like present human nature and like you know it's a didactic sort of morality based thing right like it was written for people to teach them about morality but there's people that genuinely think that these are like there's an old man just sitting in cloud and he's like you know solid it's like have you never heard of a metaphor have you never heard of like symbolic messages let's say oh, imagine just being like jesus is awesome he looks awesome he is awesome and the devil not a cool dude <laughs> all right one last video um let's do this one This is hilarious. He's mooing. <laughs> He's like actually mooing. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm like in shock. I'm like in shock. Like I understand that a lot of people really take the Bible incredibly literally and don't see that it's like a book of metaphors and they actually genuinely think that everything in the Bible is like literal. But my man, do you believe like, do you, do you believe like Marvel movies as well? <laughs> I mean, I guess you're like gullible, you know, in that sense, but like there's this guy who's got like goat legs and it's like, have you ever gone to a theater? Have you ever gone to watch any movie ever? Like, moving on. Yeah. Okay, one last one because you know, I ha it's a short one. Hair loss due to spiritual warfare. And then she shows like a really nice haircut. Jesus Christ always got me. And she's showing like her full head of hair. Jesus gives you good hair, apparently. If you if you believe in Jesus, you're just gonna have like the most amazing hair. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, you know, who am I to like judge what you believe in? Like, that's that's fine. But hair loss due to spiritual warfare and witchcraft. Can you stop blaming us for everything? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I don't know why this person may or may not have had like hair loss. 
but to actually be like spiritual warfare and, Christ and witchcraft caused her hair loss and Jesus gave her good hair. Out of all the things that Jesus could have given you, the hair? Okay. I must say, I always find it really peculiar when on the one hand you have, it's all a deceived thing that the devil created, it's not real and you know the pagan gods aren't real they're like made up by the devil and everything right and then you have the devil isn't as powerful because you know jesus died for the sins whatever so god is like almighty but then god punishes you if you believe in something that doesn't exist in the first place and it's like that's a pretty i don't know it doesn't seem like a very nice god your hair is gonna fall out because you believe in something that isn't real and apparently you've been deceived which isn't really your own fault in the first place if the devil is such an amazing deceiver can you even blame people for being the deceived deceived by the devil i don't know and it just, it just doesn't seem like a very fair sort of situation yeah all right okay anyway <laughs> that's it already for this video um i hope you enjoyed it if you want more like this, let me know. I was thinking of doing a similar one for like the new age realm of things because that's a rabbit hole. Um, let me know if you would like that. Now, with that being said, if you actually would like to know what witchcraft is, I have a video that I'm going to be linking on what witchcraft is and how you can, for example, start it if that's something that's interesting to you. And of course, I also have my Patreon, so definitely head over there. I'm going to have articles and everything in there. I also do monthly workshops over there. So if you want to check that out. So with that being said, thank you everyone for watching. Until the next video, may you go with your gods.